Okay, let's discuss about the two-dimensional arrays in Java. Let's take an example. This is a table that has six rows and two columns. The rows represents the names of individuals. The first column represents the first name. The last column represents the last name. We will write a program that initializes these names and then prints it out. Here is a two-dimensional array class. It has a main method. We are declaring the two-dimensional array. As we know, each dimension needs to be square brackets. We put two brackets to de declare that it's two-dimensional and the name of the array is names. And we are opening a flower bracket here, curly bracket, and closing a curly bracket here. That takes care of one dimension. For the second dimension, we are starting another curly bracket here and closing the curly bracket. And we are separating each row by the comma. So that tells it's, it's the next row. So here, Sam and Cole the first row in the table, second row on the table, and so on. So these are the first names, these are the last names. So once the names gets initialized, what we are going to do is, we are going to have a loop that goes through each of the names and then prints names 1 of 0, initially it starts with 0 through length, 0, 0, and 0, 1. The first angle bracket the number in the first angle bracket is for the row so it goes through each row the second number is for the column the zero represents the first name one represents the last name so it goes through the loop and then writes it let's go ahead and run this program so there we go it printed first name and last name for all six people that's a two-dimensional array.